In this video, we will discuss about the classification of the tibial plateau fractures. So, the most famous classification of tibial plateau fracture is the Schadker sex classification, which classifies the fracture into six types. So first three types are low energy trauma, and next three types are the high energy trauma. So, in type one, it is a simple split here, split of the condyle, lateral condyle, split fracture. In type 2, it is the split as well as the depression of the lateral tibial condyle. So, we can see here the articular surface is depressed, while here it is only split of the lateral condyle. In type 3, there is no split, but it is only the central depression. Central depression without split. So, to remember, we use the mnemonic C is the third word in the alphabet ABC and it corresponds to the type 3. So central depression is the type 3 of the Schadger classification. In type 4 we have the medial condyle fracture. In types 5 we have the bicondylar. Both the lateral and the medial condyle they are fractured. And in type 6 which is the most highest energy trauma we have a bicondylar fracture along with the dissociation at the metaphysis and the diaphysis level so this is the most commonly used and most famous famously used classification for the tibial plateau fractures so in type 1 we have the only split type 2 we have split and depression 2 means we have two things we have split as well as depression in type 3 we have a c which is the central depression only. Type 4 we have medial condyle fracture. Type 5 is a bicondylar. And type 6 is the metaphysis and the diaphysis dissociation. So this is the Schadger classification. Another classification used for the fracture dislocation of the proximal tibia is the Hall and Moore classification. So it classifies the fracture into five types. So first is the coronal split. So this is the coronal split fracture, simple friction split fracture. So this is the type 1. Then in type 2 we have the entire condyle fracture. That the entire condyle, lateral condyle it is fractured. In type 3 we have the rim avulsion. We have the avulsion fracture. Avulsion fracture of the lateral condyle. In type 4 we have a depression. That there is a depression of the uh, depression at the fracture site and depression of the articular surface. In type 5 we have a four part fractures. So this is Hall and Mori classification which is less commonly used. It is classification of the fracture dislocation of the proximal tibia. So AO classification. So this is the AO classification for the proximal tibia we classify in a type we have extra articular in b we have partial articular in c we have a complete articular then a1 we have the avulsion we have the avulsion of the condylar avulsion or we have the avulsion of the tibial spine in a2 we have a simple fracture at the metaphysis region in a3 a3 we have a metaphysis multifragmentary combination at the metaphysis level in b1 which is a par partial articular fracture we have a sp simple split no depression in b2 we have only depression pure depression in b3 we have a split as well as the depression so coming to the c type of fracture so in c1 we have a articular simple combination a simple fracture line and metaphysis is a simple fracture line in c2 articular is simple fracture line but there is a combination at the metaphysis level and in c3 we have a combination at the articular level also articular combination is present so this is ao classification of the proximal tibia or tibial plateau fractures so recently introduced is the Lowe's 
three column concept so in axial section the proximal tibia is divided into or tibial plateau is divided into four part three or four part so three we use the posterior column lateral column and medial column and then we divide it to anterior lateral anterior medial posterior lateral and the posterior medial so this is a three column concept lateral column medial column and the posterior column so we classify the fracture depending upon how many columns are involved so it is a lateral column fracture it is a lateral and medial column fracture or it is a three column fracture involving all the three columns now this classification it also dictates the treatment management that if whatever column is involved we have to fix this column if all the three columns are involved then we use three plates to the fix this column medial lateral medial and posterior column so this is the one example of the three column fracture where the three plates are used to fix all the three column fractures so these are the various classification we have the laws methods three column concept we have ao classification we have hall and mori classification and most famous we have a shadgar classification of the tibial plateau fracture